What's up guys, welcome to another video. So in this one, I wanna talk about why you want to keep your business super simple, super lean, super minimalist. One of the reasons why people feel frustrated and overwhelmed and stuck is because their business is completely, is chaos. It's very complicated, right? It's like when you get into, go into someone's house and apartment and it's a mess, it's like the clothing is in the floor, the food, the plates, the bed is not made, like it's just a mess, it's a disaster. And this is how their brain also operates. It's a, it's a disaster, it's confused, it's, it's all over the place. Compared to when you go to someone's apartment and it's like super nice, white, organized, like super minimalist, and you, you know that their head is also organized. So it's the same thing with a business. You can have a disorganized, complicated, business with many moving parts or you can have a simple lean organized business where you just focus on doing a few things every single day but you do them very well right you become a master of those specific things and those things they are the things that provide the biggest impact they move the needle they when you do them you get disproportionate results so the the important the reason it's important to build a simple business is because you can focus you, you can narrow down your focus you can be laser focused like you have tunnel vision on just a few things do them very well and as a result that gives you better results more sales more profit you're able to become a master of of a few things and that leads to scalability and in my opinion to have a very simple business you just need to focus on, on two main parts, okay? Two main parts. To get sales, then you have the fulfillment, but two main parts to acquire customers and actually make money. Number one is acquisition. So you need to have a very simple process to get new customers and get new people into your world, which is always running, right? That's why we need ads. And then a nurturing process. For all those people that didn't buy from the first process, we need a process for them to be converting to customers over time. That's all you need to make a lot of money, all right? In a simple business. An acquisition process, an ad that sends people to a page where they apply and you close them. And for all those people that couldn't be closed, they're sent to the nurturing process where with a simple way to create content, they're then converting to buyers again. Make sense? So. You don't need to be in absolutely every single social media platform. You don't need to have many products. You don't need to have many prices. You don't need upsells and downsells. You don't need to be doing outreach and do a bunch of crazy things at the same time. You don't need a big team. Okay. And to better explain this, let's take a look at my business. So my business is basically an ad that is running around. You've probably seen it maybe. That ad is very strategically created. It's a video sales letter. It attracts people into my world. Those that are convinced by the video end up applying for my business. And for those that seem like a good fit, we talk with them. And if they like what they hear and they are okay with the price, they become customers. So that acquisition process is always running regardless if I'm sleeping, recording this video or doing something else. For those people that don't buy because I had their information, their email, their phone number, I add them to my list, to my email list, and I send a daily email. So even if they didn't buy, they still get my emails and they still get my, my content. And my content is very strategically created as well. It's made to convert all those people that didn't buy into buyers eventually it might take a week might take a month might take five years i don't care i know they will become customers eventually with my nurturing process so my whole business is build this initial acquisition process which is once it's done it's done i don't need to do it again it's already done the video is done the ad is created the budget is there for ads the page is created the application page so i don't need to do it again why would i need to do it again and then I have someone in my team that closes sales, okay? Done. Nurturing process, 
I don't want to complicate this as well. I don't want to have a nurturing process where it's like three TikToks a day, three reels a day, a YouTube video and um, outbound. And so my nurturing process is I write an email in the morning, I send it to my list. That's it. And these people that applied, they will read the email and one day they will buy. That's it. That's all I do. So if I want to grow the business, what do I need to do? I need to see how much I'm spending on ads and how much I'm making in revenue. If I am making more than what I'm spending, I can spend more and put more people to this process. Many of them will end up in the nurturing process. Many of them will end up buying. And that's really what a business is about is money in, money out. That's really what it is. Now in here, I know we're not discussing fulfillment. That's a variable that is not related to customer acquisition. You can have a simple process to fulfill. That's something for another video. But to build a very profitable, freedom-oriented um, business, you need to keep it simple, just a few things, focus on them, do a really good job on them, keep it lean so that you can stay your focus, right? Your focus is just that one thing. And you become a master at that. Because if you try to do many things and you become like a five out of 10 on each one of them, you're never going to be able to scale. You're never going to be able to take it to the next level because you kind of know what's going on, but you don't know what in depth. Okay. And if you try to do many things, you'll have to work more hours every single day. You will have to work instead of two hours, four, because you're doing more things, right? And you try to get good at them. You don't want to be having poor results in each one. So you're really focusing on, on working hard and trying to become the best at everything. And this is the perfect formula for <laughs> to get freaking burned out. So, that's my belief. I believe that you should just build a very lean, minimalist business with one offer, one high ticket offer, one sales process for acquisition, one nurturing process. And within those processes, have a very few tasks that you do every day that you become great at it. So in my case, I need to become great at creating the ad, the one ad which is already created. I think it's, it's done pretty well. I need to be good at creating a landing page, which is done pretty well. I need to be good at um, closing people or teaching my, peop my team how to close people, having a good script, all that stuff, right, which I think it's done pretty well. So this is done pretty well and it's, it's like a one-time thing, right? I don't need to become great multiple times at creating sales scripts. I can just do it once, right? But my daily tasks that I focus on, for example, sending the email, because I do it every single day, I am becoming great at it. Maybe you've read my emails, maybe, maybe you like them, maybe you don't like them. But the point is that if you repeat something every day and it's the same thing every day, you will become really good at it, okay? It can be playing the guitar, it can be learning a new language, it can be sending an email, it can be recording a YouTube video. Now, something I didn't mention as well is I send a daily email and I record around two, three videos, YouTube videos per week, something like that, right? And I record them when I feel like it, honestly. I don't have a specific day, a specific time. It's just like, oh, when I shoot a video and I upload it. And that's it. Why? Because I know that the people, because I use these videos to send them to my list and the people in my list convert even better when I send them the videos. It's part of the nurturing process. It's like a daily email and, and some uh, YouTube videos. Why YouTube videos? Because I feel they're a better type of asset, sticks around for a long period of time, um, that in my type of business, it helps me get more sales because it's a longer form, it's a um, long format type of content. In my niche, the short content doesn't work very well, in my opinion. It's a longer piece of content. That's why I chose these videos. That's basically it. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Keep your business simple, lean, and minimalist. Focus on just a few things. Become great at them. Don't freaking get distracted with the shiny objects. Have a lean acquisition process. Have a lean nurturing process. Few tasks. That's it. Hope you found this helpful. If you want to work with me to scale your business, click the link below. Let's scale to the freaking moon. Go watch the case studies. They're amazing. And if you want to be the next one, click the link and go apply. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you find it helpful. I'll see you in the next one.